Have you ever had a patient that had this wandering eye movement back and forth? This is called roving eyes, and I got this video off of YouTube from Neurology Made Interesting. I've actually seen a couple of patients have this in the ICU, and so let's talk about it. This eye movement is called roving eye movement, and it is not the same as nystagmus. This is a very slow, typically horizontal movement back and forth. People can have this eye movement when they're actually sleeping at night. You may see when they close their eyes moving back and forth, but the patients that I'm talking about with this eye movement typically have some sort of neurological injury. It can also be caused by metabolic encephalopathy, but the most common patients I've seen this in are patients that have had an anoxic brain injury. Typically that is from a cardiac arrest where they had prolonged lack of oxygenation in their brain. It can be really hard for families to see this because patients' eyes can still move back and forth and they can appear to to be awake and looking around when in reality they have this response from their neurological brain injury. When I've had patients with this, typically they've already had a diagnosis of some sort of brain injury. And so we are aware that this is a side effect, so to speak, of that injury. But if you ever walk in and your patient is doing that eye movement back and forth, I definitely would stat page the neurologist if there's a neurologist on the patient's case or stat page the primary care doc. Anytime there's an abnormal eye movement that a patient doesn't have control of, that's always a concern for seizures or something else going on in the brain. So definitely you want to notify a provider. And I'm curious if anyone else has seen this, let me know.